Storm Track 5 weather team, alerting you to severe weather danger. One of the really cool things about these high pressure, sunny, clear days across our area is how far you can see. The sky is not very hazy, not like the summertime where with this view here from Holston Mountain, I probably couldn't even see half this stuff. Let me point this out to you right here. That's the giant cross on I-81 as you're driving around exit 5. And then right back through here, that's the Falls Shopping Center. So kind of neat how far we can see on a sunny, clear day in the Tri-Cities. 50 degrees right now is our hot temperature. North Northeast, the wind around 3 miles per hour. Checking in with Grundy, your Grundy National Bank camera. Sunny skies outside in Grundy right now as we say hello to everyone up in Grundy. Checking in with radar. Not a whole lot to show you, to be honest with you. No real cloud cover across much of the east or southeast United States. A little bit of cloud cover moving through the Midwest, through the Nebraskas, and heading into Missouri and Iowa. But that's about it. There's not a whole lot big weather-wise going on across the nation right now. Weather pretty calm. It's going to stay pretty calm and sunny around here as we go through the next couple of days. Expecting highs around 58 in the metro today, 57 towards Elizabethan, 56 in Mountain City, and around 55 in Rome Mountain with abundant sunshine, 54 in Norton, 54 in Clintwood, 57 for Jonesville. I think around Marion, Smith County, we should get up around 56, 57 degrees as you go towards Abingdon. All right, let's talk about the tree lighting tonight. Our chief meteorologist Dave Dirks will be out there. And I think I may be around somewhere or around the area too as the tree lighting kicks off tonight around 6 o'clock. Officially lit around 6.30. Uh, temperature should be falling through the 50s into the 40s for that event tonight near Cumberland Square Park in downtown Bristol. Overnight, waking up on your Tuesday morning, expecting mainly clear skies, cold once again, but probably not as cold as it was this morning. Warmer by a couple of degrees. High pressure slowly shifting off towards the east as we go into your Tuesday afternoon. That will allow for more clouds to work in on Wednesday ahead of our next weather maker that moves in late Thursday into Friday. A cold front and an associated area low pressure will be pushing into our area late Thursday afternoon into the overnight hours, bringing us some rain showers. And then if there's a little bit of moisture left over, some cooler air wouldn't shock me if a snowflake or two mixed in some of the higher elevations so we went into late Thursday night into Friday. Not looking like a big deal at this time, though. High pressure redominates our weather as we go into Friday, leaving us with nice sunny weather once again as we head towards the weekend and Friday. The Johnson City tree lighting on Friday, 50 degrees expected for that during the day. We're going to cool down a little bit, though, into the evening hours. So forecast for that, looking for around 44 degrees. Very low weather impacts, a little bit on the cold side. If you're heading out to that on Friday, Saturday, big parades coming up in both Kingsport and Johnson City. News 5 will be participating in both of those. Lots of our on-air personalities will be out there uh, handing out a little bit of candy and saying hi and uh, giving our holiday greetings to everyone out on the parade route. Expecting temperatures to generally be in the 40s and 50s for both of those events. So where will you be handing out that candy? I'll make sure I'm in line at that spot. Uh, well, you were probably a little too old to get any. I'm sorry. Oh. So but for the kids. Thought, thought I'd ask. Kids. So, uh, okay. All right, Ricky. Well, coming up.